Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today, as I said last week, we are taking a break from Combat Robots and we are going back to the dodgeball shooter. So, uh, in front of me is the prototype we built last time. This was literally just trying to work out if these um, flywheels that I had set up were actually going to do anything at all. Uh, it turns out, yes, yes they do. They, they worked okay. There's a little bit of flex in the mounting system, which I think is it's either coming from the wood base or it's coming from the fact that these are literally supported in one spot. Uh, so that flex is not good, and it meant that uh, they weren't firing exactly as, uh, as well as they could be, because any compressive force on the ball is going to help throw it as fast as possible. Also, we had some issues uh, with the actual axles in here, so we're going to upgrade those today. And also, we're going to get rid of this plywood base. We're going to go for something that is a lot better looking and is actually going to have a, a ball feed and it's going to have a channel for the balls to go down and then some form of mechanism uh, to throw the balls into the flywheels for us so we don't have to sit here pushing them from behind. Uh, yeah, so I think the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go down and laser cut some discs that are going to form the outside shape of the actual dodgeball thrower. So let's get on to that and we'll see how we go. Okay, so it is starting to come together. Now, this is just all press fit together right now using the fact that these notches are actually just a little bit over the halfway point to keep everything in place. Uh, so, it's not glued together yet because everything needs a little bit of a sand and also because I actually need to add some more stuff to this. So, the next thing I need to actually add to this is some square tube. Now, the round tube here is for the bowl to run along, but the square tube is going to go in on the underside and hold everything together. Now it looks like I've actually oversized my holes a little bit on the underside, but that is basically what's gonna happen is this is gonna sit in on the underside here and hold everything together and also give this uh, mount a flat or a nice flat bottom to sit on. But uh, before we get to that, I need to have all of the holes and everything drilled into this square bar 
uh, because once everything is done on this, it is going to get glued in place and I then really won't be able to drill too much into it anymore. So I know the spots I need to drill already to mount uh, the brushless motors out here, the flywheels up here, because that's where the, the flywheels are going to be, up this end so that the ball gets pushed into here and thrown. The thing that I don't know right now is how the balls are going to get pushed. So the idea is there's going to be a feed mechanism up here somewhere, which still needs to be uh, worked out. And originally my idea was that this metal bar is going to be extended all the way back here somewhere. And then I was going to use a linear actuator to push in through here, which is just like a, a nice little push rod that goes this way. The only thing is it would need to be at least the gap between these two rings again backwards and I don't really like that. So I think this, what we're going to try and do is get this servo into here somewhere. Now originally I thought I'd go back here and use it to push the ball, but I actually think what I'm going to do now is mount it down in here somewhere. So this is going to sit between the two metal bars at the bottom and it's going to have a big arm out to the back about here and it's going to swing the arm forwards to push the ball. So it's going to kind of go like that and push the ball into the flywheels, hopefully. Maybe, I don't really know. Um, we'll see how all of that goes. So the next thing we need to do is, yeah, we need to print a mount for this thing so that it can actually attach in between these two rails. We then need to print some other stuff so that we can hold the flywheels in place and probably some new actual flywheel pods as well because the other ones that I had were just a little bit too small which meant I couldn't ever spin the thing up to full speed because I was a little bit worried about things catching and breaking. So we're going to do some upgrades to those parts. So there's going to be a lot of 3D printing about to happen and then once all of that's done we can glue all this together and uh, that should be almost time to test it then.
And unfortunately, I am out of time. I had plans to do more on this guy this week, but uh, it's just not happened. Some of the prints here took a very, very long time to get printed, and it's just slowed down the whole process, basically. Um, yeah, so this is now the, well, most of the actual physical hardware together. There is, as I said before, supposed to be a bowl uh, housing up the top here, but that needs to be printed and, yeah, fully sorted out yet. And then the rest of it is together. The actual bowl chute is together, and that's quite rigid. That's quite nice. With all of the aluminium and epoxy going on in there, everything holds together pretty well. Um, yeah, so that little spin-up test that I just did just before was scary. These things get up really, really fast, which is why I've got the big pods around the outside of them so that you can't get your fingers anywhere near them. I mean, you can kind of through the top, but I need to leave something out here so that when the ball passes through, uh, it can actually get touched by the flywheels and everything like that. But I'm hoping that people aren't really gonna be putting their hands in and around the top. We also did have the belt slip off on this side, so that kind of indicates to me that there's something wrong with this uh, this plate, I think this plate might have moved and allowed the uh, the flywheel to move, so we need to change that up. Also, the flywheels weren't spinning up at the same time and they were backwards. So I've got a lot of different bits and pieces I need to do and then I also need to get some proper control electronics in this so that we can tell how fast these wheels are spinning and you can control them precisely so that you'll be able to get an exact uh, dodgeball speed out the other end of them. So yeah, lots and lots of little bits and pieces left to do, mostly electronics, and that's gonna, gonna be an interesting one because we're gonna put a, a decent level of smarts in here, I hope. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.